Hi, I'm Jim White, registered dietitian and certified personal trainer. Today, I wanna to talk to you about the importance of heart health. According to the CDC, heart disease is the leading cause of death for men and women. In 2021, 695,000 people in the United States died from heart disease. That's about one in every five deaths. Lifestyle behaviors play a critical role in prevention. The good news is that when it comes to heart health, things don't have to be too complicated. Tweaking everyday habits may sound boring, but can go a long way. Today, I'm going to show you just how with an inspiring true story. A client of mine, Michael Rooks, lost over 100 pounds by incorporating a sound diet, exercise routine, good sleep hygiene, and decreasing stress factors in his life. These lifestyle hacks not only helped Mike reduce the risk of heart disease, but greatly improved his quality of life. Listen more to see how these tweaks can help you improve your heart health and your overall well-being. So Mike, keeping a healthy weight is important in preventing heart disease, as extra weight can put extra stress on the heart and the blood vessels. However, long-term weight loss and weight management can be really challenging. There was a study showing that 80% of people who lost weight usually regained it in five years. So can you tell everyone how you lost 100 pounds plus, and how are you keeping it off now? Yeah, yeah, so much like yourself, I track everything I eat. I make sure I don't exceed 2,200 calories. Um, even in instances I do, I make sure I work out enough to eat that overage. Um, but yeah, I eat largely the same foods. So I don't restrict myself from anything. So you, you stick with the whole foods um, diet, so no restrictions. You're seeing a lot of people that lose that amount of weight just start cutting all their food groups. And we know that you know, dairy is important for you know, improving muscle and bone health. And then we have a lot of our fruits and vegetables decreasing cancer and our whole grains for our heart health. So um, I, I know since I've known you, you've, you've not said I'm not eating this or that. You've still incorporated just in portion size. Yeah, so, you know, instead of late night grabbing a bowl of cereal or making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, I will grab a cup of yogurt mm -hmm. or a tube of yogurt instead. Um, but yeah, I don't restrict myself from any food, so I'm still eating everything. The meat groups, the grains, the fishes, everything. Awesome. Now we know exercise is vitally important for heart health. Um, we know that when we're doing straight training and cardiovascular training, um, we're seeing improvements, decreasing cholesterol, blood pressure. So tell us about not only how exercise has improved your life, and also tell us about your improvement in your disease states. Um, you know, as far as your lab panels. Yeah, yeah, so before I was pre-diabetic, which was scary because I don't like needles. Um, it was pretty close. My sleep was really horrible. I mean, averaging four and a half to five oh. hours, which they say over enough time can give you diseases and that mm -hmm. alone. Um, other than high blood pressure, I was on high blood pressure medicine for a little bit. I didn't like the effects so I got off of it. Um, but yeah, right now I'm on zero medications, I have a clear C panel. The only deficiencies I have now are vitamin D, mm -hmm. and that's it. And I can just go outside for that. Now let's talk about exercise. Regular physical activity not only helps with weight loss efforts, but it also strengthens our heart, lowers blood pressure, cholesterol, and sugar levels. How did you use the baby steps approach to see long-lasting fitness results? Yeah, so one thing I didn't want to do was overtrain because I knew I would hurt myself or I would turn myself off from going from the gym. So I first started by just doing 30 minutes a day, just 30 minutes of anything. After that, I started to develop a routine. Maybe I didn't want to run all week, so I would put HIT or strength training in there. But 30 minutes went to 45 minutes, 45 eventually went to an hour. So baby steps helped me in terms of figuring out that routine for this lifestyle change not taking on too much and really finding a rhythm. Since there isn't a goal, I kind of want something sustainable. And the one thing I love about your results is that not only did you lose the weight, but your muscle actually increased. And you know, I know uh, when I started putting you on more animal proteins, um, such as chicken, eggs, fish, and um, a lot of dairy, um, it has uh, leucine in it. So that uh, increases, it's a branched amino acid that actually increases muscle. So I knew when you were doing your, you know, three to five days of strength training a week along with that, that can really help um, decrease sarcopenia and um, build the bones, which is great. Another thing I noticed is your sleep IQ. We know that sleep, um, you know, getting a good night's sleep, quality sleep a week can improve um, inflammation and it could you know help you eat better and exercise stronger so um, what have you done to improve your sleep 
Yeah, so I'm a data guy, so I wanted to approach it from that angle. So the first thing I went out and bought was the watch, mm -hmm. just to make sure. Well, that can only take my blood, um, I'm sorry, my heart rate from my wrist. So then I got the ring, because it can take it on my finger. <laughs> so now, um, it's helped me figure out the best time to go to sleep. I was going to sleep too late. Mm -hmm. So my new routine now is go to sleep around 8, 8.30 and wake up at 5. So it helped me not only figure out the best time to go to sleep, the conditions when I was sleeping. Mm -hmm. I figured out the temperature was too hot since it reads my temperature at night. I needed to open a window. So opening a window increased my score another 15%. So just seeing like the nuances of my sleep mm -hmm. and everything involved with it helped me improve it overall. So you used a lot of just those common recommendations that we always say to help to improve your sleep IQ and that really has changed your life. Oh yeah, I sleep on average now seven and a half to eight hours and it's nice. Wow. Thanks, Mike, for this truly uh, inspirational story. With these simple life hacks, we can reduce the risk of heart disease while also improving our overall health and well-being. This interview was supported by the National Dairy Council, a nonprofit organization dedicated to nutrition research and education. Dairy foods, as a part of a healthy dietary pattern, are associated with lower risk of heart disease, which is why they're a component of the American Heart Association's recommended diet and the DASH diet eating plan. This video is meant for educational purposes only and is not meant to replace the individual care of a healthcare provider.